praying and a praying and a praying and a praying. And a praying. I bad. Good morning. Good morning. I'm going to get a microphone. We're in the lobby. Hey, we're in the lobby of the Fountain of Praise. We're running a little late. Hey, Leisha. Girl, your pastor done killed us in here. Today he has. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I thought it was in the bottom. Hi, hi, McMahon from South Africa. Guess who I have with me today? We have to go this way because of the light. Oh, okay. DC Marshall is with us today. We're gonna squeeze over here. We're gonna hide from everybody. Oh my God, look at that line for those CDs. Oh my goodness. Dr. John Adolph just blessed us. It's our 57th church anniversary at the Fountain of Praise. And we have just uh, let out a service. And my dear friend is in town. Mm -hmm. I love her. And so we titled this Sister Supporting Sisters and how necessary it is. Can y'all hear us? Give us some love if you can hear, because I can't, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if you can hear us. I'm sorry, I don't have my microphone. If I got an earpiece? We'll have enough. Can sorry, you hear? don't have a, hearts oh, thank you. you. Oh, you can hear? Okay. Thank you, okay, I'm trying to yell, so sorry. Um, but anyway, we talk about Sister Supporting Sister. D is in town to support a dear friend of ours who is, uh, Miss. can we turn that or something? Yeah, thank you. But can they hear us? Can y'all hear oh, us? We call, okay. okay, I'm yelling, so okay. Well, Dee is in town to support our friend, uh, Miss Brandy Holmes, as she goes into her next year or next phase of whatever she has. On. Our makeup kind of looks really good sisters. today. Yes, yes. Um, I did my own, but you're did good. You do yours? No, Brandy. Brandy did yours? Man, yes. it's fabulous. But anyway, so how important it is for us to support one another, especially as we're sensing a change and a shift in our lives. There are so many times that um, you feel like you're so alone, and when God is speaking to you, you may feel like, almost, you know, kind of, um, what's the word, uh, like isolated, mm -hmm. and, and people don't understand why you're going through, but when you can support another sister through her change, through her transformation, yeah. through whatever shift is happening in her life, it's so important. So I want, I want Dee to say something, because this girl is powerful right here. Oh my goodness, no, I'm always, I'm excited to be here at the, the Fountain of Praise. There's always so much love. Um, here and so to uh, Pastor Mia's point about sisters supporting sisters, she has she puts out a lot of uh, yummy energy and just as a solid woman of God. And so I believe that invites back into her life and even to you when you put out so much love and support for other people. People know your heart when you show up in the room. It doesn't matter what you say. It doesn't matter you know where you are in your life. People know your heart. They feel your energy. And so this is sister supporting sisters. I'm happy to be here at Mia's moment but the church service was such a blessing today to be here at the anniversary sister supporting sisters but um i know i'm, I'm rambling because the message no, was so awesome. powerful so, today so so let's get to this message really fast dr john see i love you alicia and you too are supporting Hi, sister alicia. Too. Thank yes, you. i love yes. her yes she's a sweetheart yes so let me tell you this that uh, dr adolf he preached about the uh, mark 5 the woman that had the issue of blood that made her way and pressed her way to jesus and one of the things that hit both of us, you know, can say the same thing, and I think this whole crowd of people in here will say the exact same thing, that um, the one, they, he said he, he struggled with preaching this text for such a long time because he was like, it was 12 years. What took God so God, long? What took you so long? What took God so long to respond to this woman's pleas and cries? And what he said, look at that, Arlisha, he preached the house crazy, yes. He said, Oh, that's Arlisha's pastor? Uh, uh huh. That's oh, he ain't nothing out but of. the truth. Oh, yes, my goodness. That's where this girl get it from. <laughs> I see now. <laughs> she had good grooming. God is but good. But he said, God, what took you so long? Yeah. He said he was almost mad at God. Like, well, he wasn't mad, but he said, You know, like, how could God wait so long to heal this woman? Yeah, and the thing about it was that it wasn't that God took so long to heal her. God could have healed her the day that she got sick. But he said that she had to run out of options. It took her 12 years to run out of the options. Not 12 years for God to heal her, but 12 years for her to run out of options. And so the lesson learned for each one of us, hey, you guys, hey, Vanessa Bell. Um, the, thing, the lesson learned from each one of us is that, you know, we go to other people to get our problem solved. We yeah. start looking for other ways that God can respond. Yeah. But the truth is we got to go straight to God. Go straight and to so God. his message was giving him something that he could feel. feel. Oh, man. Because when she or just that she could feel, God could feel her presence in her press. 
And I think that was so powerful. So what is it that you've been waiting on God for? And how long have you been waiting? Are you saying right now, God, what's taking you so long? I've been saved since last week. No, I'm just playing. But have you, God, I've been waiting on you to heal. I've been waiting for you to show up. I've been waiting for you for my next career opportunity, for my ministry, for my business, for my husband, for my children. You are waiting for God. And the word from the pastor today is God is not waiting on, uh, you are not waiting on God. God is waiting on you. And that's what, yeah. that's what the message was. It, it was so very powerful. And so the lesson was make God, um, these are my words, make God first place and final authority. Go to God first. Don't, not after all of your options have run out. And so it was so powerful. I'm so full. And that's yeah. why, you know, even though the sisters supporting sisters is Mia's moments, I'm so full from the word and it was so powerful. Um, and I'm grateful to be here always. Yeah. And the thing family. about it too, Dee, this is awesome, is that, you know, we can talk about if supporting one another and helping one another, but when we see our sisters going through and we try to be a help, sometimes we end up being a crutch to people. Mm -hmm. And when we're that crutch, we can't, we don't help people get directly to God. And so what we have to learn to do is help direct people to the right place. So when That's we talk cool. about sister supporting sister, it's showing up, but it's also helping to be that spiritual friend, That's helping good. to be that spiritual grounding so that people can then find their pathway to God and so if God has blessed you and gifted you then this is your area that you serve this is how you like serve that. God you yeah. represent the people to God so direct people back to God that's good yes yeah, so, right like sister did you pray about it that's good. right this like did right. you so if you have the issue of or if we go back to what you say you know sisters helping each other it's directing people directing our friends back okay did we pray about it specifically what's the conversation because a lot of times we keep stuff in. So I love what you just yeah. said about that, about yeah. sisters supporting sisters, redirecting, directing people versus always in our, me being an expert, giving you my advice. No, yes, what, did, what did the word say? What did God say about that? Amen. Look, I I, I, thank you so much, Glenda. He said, oh, wait, Carly. he said do a road check also. So yes. then the point okay. about sisters supporting sisters, he said, so if we direct people back mm -hmm. to God, it's also checking in with our sisters and our faith. Yes. Right? Like, have yes. you, how do you know God? He said something about how okay. do you know My God? arm hurt. Hang oh, on. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we can be done. We can be okay. done. I'm sorry. This is a, this is a, My arm's hurt. No, that's not. We're the joke here. It up. Let's take a, I wish I could take a picture, but without yeah. hanging up, anyway. I don't know how to do it. All right. So, uh, <laughs> so anyway, good. we just want to say thank you guys for being on Mia's Moments today. I'm so blessed that I have a sister like this and uh, while she's in town I'm going to grab some time with her because iron sharpeneth iron so if you are looking for God to do something in your life you're looking for God to take you to that next level look for a sister that you can be strong with um, one of uh, the young ladies that God has blessed me to mentor in the past used to call me her stronger vine or yeah her stronger vine and I would call her my little vine because I could see the growth coming up in her and I just thank God how he's allowed me to mentor a number of young ladies and so be that woman be that person that man that God has called you to do and utilize the um, gifts that he has given to you also utilize the ability that God has given you to help direct others not for your own personal gain but for his gain so be blessed have a great rest of your Sunday and thank you guys for tuning in if you want to catch a good message and you're not in fellowship today tune in at tfop.org and uh, watch the watch live dr. Adolph is going to bless us again this afternoon at 11 o'clock so it's coming up in about half an hour. Um, he'll be up preaching in about another hour. So God bless you. Benediciones también. Uh, gracias, mi amiga. Bye, Alicia. I love you. Bye-bye.